I'm Mark Ryan. In this video, I'll introduce you to my new book from Pact Publishing, Deep Learning with Fast AI Cookbook. Fast AI is a flexible and easy to use deep learning framework built on top of PyTorch that makes it easy for non-specialists to get started with deep learning. Thanks to the use of intelligent defaults and useful abstractions, Fast AI makes it possible to get a high-performing deep learning model with less than 10 lines of code. In Deep Learning with Fast AI Cookbook, you will work through a series of self-contained practical coding recipes. By the end of the book, you will have all you need to take advantage of this powerful deep learning framework. You will begin by learning how to set up a cloud environment to work with Fast AI. Then you'll learn how to examine datasets using Fast AI. Next, you will create deep learning models that represent the four application areas supported by Fast AI: tabular, text, Recommender Systems, and Image. You will build and train models for each of these areas using two classes of datasets, the curated datasets provided by FastAI and standalone datasets. Next, you'll learn how to deploy FastAI models in simple web applications. Finally, you will learn additional features, including how to train models with augmented data and how to control the training process with callbacks. While you can install FastAI on a local system, in fact, you will do so in the section on deployment. To get the most out of fast AI, you want to use an environment that incorporates GPUs. For most people, the simplest way to do this is with a cloud environment. The good news is that two cloud environments, Google's Colab and Paperspace's Gradient, offer setups that include GPUs and are ready to go with fast AI. The first chapter of Deep Learning with Fast AI Cookbook takes you step by step through setting up in both Gradient and Colab, and compares the pros and cons of each environment. Now that you have a fast AI environment set up, it's time to explore some data sets. In the second chapter of the book, you will start by learning about the extensive set of curated data sets that fast AI provides. These data sets make it super easy to train deep learning models without having to worry about the details of the organization in the data set. Throughout the book, as new tasks are introduced, we begin by showing you how to do the task with a curated data set to make it as easy as possible, and then with a non-curated data set or a standalone data set, so that you can see how to adapt the code to work with your own data sets. You will follow through recipes that demonstrate the features in Fast AI that make it easy to examine tabular, text, and image data sets. You will also learn how to use Fast AI to clean up data sets by, for example, dealing with missing values. The main part of the book, from chapters 3 to chapter 6, takes you through recipes to train deep learning models for the four application types supported by Fast AI: tabular datasets, text datasets, recommender systems, and image datasets. You will train models on tabular datasets and learn how, unlike other deep learning frameworks, Fast AI treats tabular datasets as first-class candidates for training deep learning models. Next, you will use transfer learning to train fast AI language models, that is, models that predict the subsequent words given a set of words, and text classifiers, that is, models that predict the category to which a piece of text belongs. Next, you will work through examples of recommender systems, trained on both curated and standalone datasets. Fast AI provides a rich set of features to work with image datasets and you will work through recipes that exploit these features to train image classification and multi-image classification models on curated and standalone datasets. Now that you have trained a series of models, it's time to learn how to make them available for other users and applications to use. In Chapter 7, you will begin by learning how to install FastAI on your local system. Next, you will learn how to use the Flask Python library and a set of HTML pages to deploy one of the fast AI deep learning models that you trained on a tabular data set. Then you will learn how to use a similar web application to deploy one of the fast AI image classification models that you trained on an image data set. 
So far in this book, you have learned how to use FastAI to explore data sets and to train a wide range of deep learning models, as well as how to deploy FastAI deep learning models. In the final chapter of the book, you will learn additional skills, including how to use FastAI to track details about your model and to train a model with augmented data. You will also learn how to use FastAI callbacks to make the model training process more effective. Finally, you will learn additional tips on model deployment, including how to display image thumbnails in the deployment of your image classification model and how to make your web deployment available to users on other systems. And that is a brief overview of my upcoming book, Deep Learning with FastAI Cookbook from Pact Publishing. This book is available for pre-order in paperback and Kindle as of June 2021, with full release scheduled for the late summer of 2021. See the links in the video description for more details. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.